We will talk about daily or near daily headaches, which means when a person experiences a headache on more than 15 days per month. In this case, our first task is to differentiate serious conditions from less dangerous types of headaches. The initial focus should be on identifying red flag symptoms that could signal more serious causes. These symptoms include a sudden onset of headache, very severe intensity, neurological symptoms such as vision changes or weakness, and any headache associated with fever or neck stiffness. If these red flags are present, further investigation is necessary. If no red flags are found, the most likely diagnosis for a chronic headache is migraine. A migraine that occurs on more than 15 days per month and lasts over four hours per day is considered chronic migraine. Migraine is a throbbing type of headache with moderate to severe pain, typically affecting one side of the head. It may be accompanied by no say, vomiting, light sensitivity called photophobia and sound sensitivity called phonophobia. Migraines can also include an aura which refers to visual disturbances like flashing lights or zigzag patterns that appear before the headache begins. Usually, a person, often a woman in her 30s, starts with migraines which become more frequent over time, potentially leading to chronic migraine that can occur almost daily. Although not all headaches may have the classical migraine symptoms, the majority of days should feature headache patterns resembling migraines. The primary cause of chronic migraine is thought to be hypersensitivity of the trigeminal nerve. Chronic migraine affects around 2% of the world's population, with risk factors including high stress, frequent use of headache medications, poor sleep, hormonal fluctuations, obesity, and caffeine overuse. The treatment for chronic migraine involves preventive medications and acute treatments. Preventive options include topiramate and anticonvulsant, commonly used for migraine prevention, which works by blocking excitatory neurotransmitters and stabilizing electrical activity in the brain. This another preventive treatment is Botox injections administered every 12 weeks. Botox is injected into specific sites in the head and neck muscles. This neurotoxin blocks the release of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter involved in muscle contraction and pain perception. This is the third type of preventive medication includes CGRP antagonist, calcitonin gene-related peptide antagonist, which are involved in pain transmission and blood vessel dilation. Additionally, beta blockers like propranolol and antidepressants like mitriptyline are sometimes used. For acute migraine pain, Triptans such as sumatriptan and rizatriptan are commonly used. These serotonin receptor agonists help by constricting blood vessels and reducing inflammation. Among non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, naproxen and ibuprofen are most commonly used. The second most common type of chronic headache is the chronic tension type headache. This type of headache is a dull aching band-like pain on both sides of the head. It is not associated with nausea, vomiting, light sensitivity or other migraine symptoms. This, the pain is usually non-throbbing, more constant and does not worsen with movement. Tension type headaches must last more than 15 days per month for 3 months and can last over 4 hours per episode. The typical patient is usually a woman over the age of 30 with high stress levels and poor posture. This headache is thought to be caused by constant muscle tension in the neck and head, especially in people with prolonged sitting or physical tension, such as those in desk jobs. Treatment for chronic tension, headaches includes relaxation techniques like meditation, yoga or cognitive behavioral therapy. Posture improving exercises are also essential. The most commonly used medications are ibuprofen and acetaminophen. For prevention, Low-dose tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline are used. The third cause of chronic headache is hemicrania continua, a rare, chronic, one-sided headache that is persistent and does not have pain-free periods. It is unique because it completely responds to indomethacin. Treatment includes indomethacin with proton pump inhibitors to reduce gastrointestinal irritation. The fourth cause is hypnic headache, also known as the alarm clock headache. This rare type of headache affects people exclusively during sleep, waking them up at the same time each night. 
Symptoms begin during sleep and often around the same time each night. The pain can last up to several hours and usually affects people over 50 years old, more commonly women. The pain is typically not severe. The gold standard treatment is caffeine before bed. If caffeine is ineffective, lithium or indomethacin can be used and sometimes melatonin also helps. The fifth type of chronic headache is the cluster headache, which is one-sided and usually located behind the eye. The pain can last from minutes to hours and has an attack-like nature. It is one of the most severe types of headache, although the exact cause of cluster headaches is not fully understood. They are thought to be related to the hypothalamus, trigeminal nerve and facial hypersensitivity. Pain can occur multiple times per day and is associated with redness, tearing, drooping eyelids, nasal congestion or a runny nose on the affected side. Cluster headache is relatively uncommon, affecting around 0.1% of the population and is three times more common in men. Smoking and alcohol use are known risk factors, though the condition can occur without them. Treatment includes oxygen therapy through a mask for 15 to 20 minutes, which can significantly reduce pain. Injectable sumatriptan is also used for quick relief, while verapamil or lithium may be used for prevention.